Okay, so I'm back in the lakes again after a long hiatus and I'm going to tackle um, some of the northern fells today, uh, eight Wainwrights around the Skidor group, uh, starting with uh, Dodd up here on the right. Can't see it at the moment but it's up there somewhere, there's been a lot of felling activity around here by the Forestry Commission and a lot of planting of new saplings so no doubt I'll see plenty of more of that on the way up. Look at these views though, down towards Derwent Water and Keswick. Absolutely magnificent this morning. Beautiful day. And then over that way towards uh, uh, Grisdale Pike and uh, the fells around that area. Bass and Twait Lake is just hiding down there somewhere. Again, not seen that quite yet. Um, so I'm gonna tackle Dodd and then walk along to Carl's side and then Longside and Ulluk Pike and then up onto uh, Skidor itself and then down onto Little Man, Long Scale Fell and then finish off at Latrig, which will be the eight Wayne Wright. So I'm expecting this to take about, I don't know, about six or seven hours, something like that. Um, it's a beautiful day, absolutely perfect. Uh, didn't want anything too challenging weather-wise for the first foray back in the fells after almost two years because uh, of the Covid pandemic etc. So hopefully this will be the final push. I'm on 179 Wainwrights at the moment so need to get all these northern fells blocked off uh, and then I've just got some stragglers to finish off and hopefully by summer time it'll be all, uh, all of them done and dusted. There you go, look at those coming into view there. Grisdale Pike, uh, Crag Hill over there, Sale, Causey Pike. Beautiful. Right, let's crack on and uh, off up to Dodd, up there somewhere. Well, Doddfell Summit is up there somewhere. It's a bit of a maze this, through all the forestry tracks. You can't really go off path because it's like that. So you've got to pick your way through these little uh, forestry paths. I think I'm generally going uphill, so I guess I'm going to get to the summit eventually, but there's been lots of zigzagging around and lots of uh, choices as to whether to go one way or the other. So, fingers crossed. Should be about half an hour away, something like that. Not too long to go now. I'm using the Outdoor Active app for the first time. I don't know if you can see that or not. Seems to be working reasonably well. Tracking the route there. I was in mourning over the loss of you, Ranger, like I'm sure a lot of other people were. But they moved me over to this on a free trial for uh, a period of time. I'm not sh too sure how long, actually. But So I'm going to use it and give it a good go. So far, so good. But... Uh, I'll keep you posted as to how it fares at the end of this uh, hike today. Right, not long to go to Dodd, up there somewhere. Okay, so we're approaching uh, 
adult summit. First Wayne Wright of the day. 502 meters. Not climbed this one before. And here we are. Nice summit. In memory of John Lowell and Ian Sanderland of the first seat in Scout Group and in also memory of Mac, Malcolm McDougall. Well what a lovely place to be remembered by. Superb. Well what have we got? Well the whole of Bassenthwaite Lake and then all the fells have yet to climb. Uh, I think that one's all up Pike, Longside, Carlside, Skidore, highest fell up there, that must be Skidore Little Man, and then Latrig must be over there somewhere. Then we've got all the Dodds in the far distance there, looking down to Keswick and Derwent Water, uh, Cat Bells there. Leading all the way up to the uh, Dale Head, etc., and then Scarfell Group beyond. And then we've got the whole of the Coldale Horseshoe there. Uh, from Causey Pike, Sale, right the way up to Crag Hill, Grassmoor, Grice Hill Pike, and back round again. Pretty magnificent. Right, so somehow now I've got to pick a route up onto uh, Carlside. So it's going to be back down the way we came and then following a little trail up there and then along. So I'm going to have to retrace some steps here. But uh, superb. It's just gone 8 o'clock in the morning. I've lost the jacket, <laughs> it's warm enough now. Magnificent. Right, let's crack on. Hmm. Lovely little bench. Oh, I think this might be a good place to stop and have a coffee. Oh, I don't feel like I've deserved it yet though, having just climbed one little fell and still got a long way to go. But you can't pass a bench like this and not stop and have a leisurely look around. I'm just on my way up to Carl's side, having just uh, climbed Dodd over there, Skiddo Dodd. But I just thought I'd give a bit of a shout out to an app which I think is absolutely fantastic for anybody who walks in the fells and wants to know what they're looking at. Uh, all fully labelled. So you look at a vista like that and you might think, oh, I wonder what that fell is, or this fell is, or that one over there, I'm just not quite sure. Well, uh, fantastic app called. Uh, Peak Finder, it's about a fiver on uh, the App Store, which is a bargain in my book, but it finds exactly where you are by GPS and I hope you can see that, but basically projects and labels all the fells that you're looking at, which I think is absolutely superb. You can zoom in and out of it, which I can't do for you because uh, I'm holding two cameras here. But you can pinch and zoom uh, and it'll open up more fells in the distance or you can focus on one in the foreground uh, and I think that's absolutely superb but what sets it apart, apart from many others as well is that you can actually you don't actually have to be here so if you go to viewpoint selector uh, peak directory let's see what it's like on the top of Ben Nevis at the moment and if I was at the top of Ben Nevis then these are the fells I'll be looking at <laughs> if I was 
going around a complete panorama. There's an awful lot of them there. <laughs> but how about that? Isn't that superb? And for a fiver, it's an absolute bargain. So for anybody who uh, fell walks and wants to know exactly what they're looking at, can't uh, recommend it highly enough. Uh, Peak Finder on the App Store and I presume on uh, Google Play as well. Okay, so still plodding on up at the flanks of Carl's side, which is up there somewhere. Yeah. It's just looking back to Dodd where I was um, about 45 minutes ago. Um, Bassenthwaite Lake down there. Still a lovely day, just enough wind to keep you cool, just a breath. Forecast looks like it's going to be like this all day, just sunny, warm, 5 to 10 mile an hour wind, pretty much perfect hiking weather. So, onwards to uh, Carlside. Well, this is the summit of Kyle's side. Not terribly impressive. Not a huge amount to see. Skidor over there, where I'm heading to later on. Still see Derwent water. That's long side over there, where I'm heading to next, and then Ulrich Pike beyond that, I think. So, not much to see here. Moving on. Okay, so we're on the summit of Long Side. That's looking over to Ulluk Pike. I'm going to next. That's looking over to Skidor. I'm going to after that. Back to Kyle Side, uh, where I was before. That lower man there on the far horizon. And then around to Derwent Water, Coldale Valley, and back around. Wind's got up a little bit. I'm trying to sh cover the camera to stop the wind noise. I hope it's working. Uh, Okie doke, right on to Hullock um, Pike. This is the narrow path on the way to Ulk Pike. Lovely views of uh, Bassenthwaite Lake down there. Of course, Bassenthwaite Lake is the only lake in the Lake District, according to uh, the OS maps anyway. The rest being meres and waters. So there's your pub trivia question there. Keep that to yourself, yeah? Bring it out to impress your mates. Bassenthwaite Lake, the only lake in the Lake District. So I'm just sat up, uh, just away from the summit of the Lup Pike. Uh, just having coffee, some lunch, uh, and I've got the best view of Bassenthwaite Lake ever. Look at that, full length of it. Absolutely magnificent. Those are all the Windlatter Fells over there, which I have yet to climb. Bath and Lord's Seat and all those. Uh, so they're, all, they're on the horizon for a, a future hike. Fantastic views though. Could stay here all day. But, need to move on. Skidore next. Just coming down the side of the long side. Retracing my steps, and then at this point here, I'm going to take the left hand fork. Uh, I came down the right hand fork from Carl's side up there, and then we're off up that steepish looking path towards Skidor. <sighs> this is the face of tiredness. This is really steep. Oh. 
baby steps baby steps gird the loins for the last effort finally made it to the summit plateau almost there Skiddo little man where I'm heading next and that's a long scale fellow over there and uh, Blengathra in the background onwards to little man summit of Skiddo little man. Wind's got up a bit, a bit chilly. The beanie's come on from the wind jacket. Still lovely views, lovely clear uh, views. Down to Derwent Water, Newlands Valley, Coldale Valley. The route I've just come. There's Skiddo Dodd down there, covered in trees. Uh, there's Longside and Pipe over there. Skiddo where I've just come from. Looking all the the north of Skiddo fells that I've yet to do. And Blencathra over there. Yeah, overall, pretty damn good. Okay, I'm off to Blonde Scale Pike now, which is over there, and then somewhere down there is Latrig, which will be the last fell of the day, and then that's me done. Okay, let's crack on. On the way to Lon Scale Fell, in the company of a Skylark. Okay, well this little pimple is long scale pike. Not much to see. Blencathra over there. Pretty much about it. Well, that's Lat Trig over there. So it's not that much for off the beaten track, is it? So we might as well climb that, and then that'll be the eight and the route that I'd intended to do. So I'm trying to climb all of the northern fells uh, in four hikes. So this one uh, is all the fells around Skiddo, and then I've plotted another route to get around all the ones at the back of Skiddo, and then a similar two hikes around Blencathra, one including Blencathra itself, and then all the fells on the southern side and then the, another route uh, to, to collect all the ones at the back of Blencathra. So hopefully with those four. That should be all of the northern fells done and dusted. So onwards to Lettrig. the 
way up to La Trigue. I've just stopped here because it's a great view of the route that I've taken so far today. So I'll park down there in Applethwaite and then first fellow over there, there Skidoo Dodd and then walked up to Carlside and then you can't see the two fells beyond there but went along to Longside and Ullock Pike and then up to Skidoo which you can just see poking out there and then over to Lower Man and then all the way along there to Longscale Pike and then down that path and to where we are now. So almost finished up there somewhere and it says Latrig Viewpoint so I'm guessing it's got some pretty spectacular views over Derwent Water and Keswick so that'll be nice to finish the day on. Looks like the top of La Trig. Yeah, Blancathra over there, Helvellyn, Old Scarf, and Derwent Water, of course. fells have climbed today over there okay that's nice right I think I'm gonna find a nice view down here somewhere sit down finish the dregs of my coffee and uh, head back to the car lovely vantage point just on the flanks of Latrig down over Keswick and do with water. Supposed to give that a go. one day Okay, let's see what Outdoor Active says then. 
So, uh, end track, 13.9 miles, 5 hours 44 minutes. Must have been longer than that. And 37,800 steps. So overall, not a bad day's hiking. Signing off. Till next time.